I take the handle out of its storage position, take this steel dowel pin, align it with the slot on this uh, rotor sticking out here. Rotor, technical name, patent pending. So now what we do, there's a button on the back here. This, this button will release the uh, tension off the trigger box uh, and allow it to, to be uh, manipulated forward. So in order to do that, the first step is getting your hand down here in this position. I'm gonna put a little clockwise or rotation forward towards the front of the crossbow just to relieve a little bit of uh, tension to disengage this, and then you're good to go. Now that this button is activated, I'll just set that there for now. You take the, this trigger box and you can just slide it forward while your thumb is engaged. If you let off, it'll just stop. So just push that down, slide it all the way forward. As you get into this area here, this trigger box is gonna engage the string and you wanna press until you hear this very stink click. There it is. Now, I let go of this, the button, pull out my crank handle, again, engagement, and then it's a very simple, only 12 pounds of force required for this R18. Boom. Okay, don't over crank. Pull that back off into this uh, storage area. The R18 is ready now to receive an arrow. Uh, the safety is in the safe position. The anti-dry fire on these Ravens is phenomenal. These are such safe crossbows. The cool thing about the R18 is this is ambidextrous, so this, this bracket that holds the cranking handle can be mounted on the other side of the crossbow for left-handed shooters.